A question we're often asked is whether or not it's possible to export data from InfoWorks ICM back to our older InfoWorks CS application. The answer is yes, it is, providing the data you've built in InfoWorks ICM relates only to a sewer model. In other words, it doesn't have any of the river components that are only possible to do in InfoWorks ICM. So, let's have a look at the process of exporting this model that you can see in front of you back to InfoWorks CS. The model is a standard stormwater model containing both an underground pipe network and, as you can see, a 2D zone. The method of getting the data back to InfoWorks CS is to export the model as a CSV file. We do that by going over to the left-hand side of the screen and doing right-click and export, and in this case, to a CSV file. Now we could also export via standard GIS files such as MIF files or ArcView shape files, but we're going to go through a standard flat format CSV file. We can choose to export the tables either as different files or into the same file. And for this example, we're just going to put all of the tables into a single file. Keep everything else as the default options and press OK. Now choose a location for your exported data. So I'm going to export my data from ICM in CSV file format, and I've got a directory already set. You'll see the CSV file adopts the name of the original base network from the InfoWorks ICM database. Save the data, which is exported very quickly indeed. That's all you need to do in InfoWorks ICM. Now we need to switch back to InfoWorks CS. So here we are in InfoWorks CS, and all I've done is to create a bland, brand new, completely blank network. And we can prove that the network is blank by validating it. And as we'll see at the bottom of the screen, there are no nodes or links in the data, so it is a completely blank network. What I can do is switch on the layer control, as we did have before, so that we can see the houses from the uh, GIS background layer, just as we did in InfoWorks ICM. And now all we need to do is very simply right-click on the network and update the network from the CSV file that we produced by InfoWorks ICM. By default it will update and add all new data items. Keep everything else as a default and press OK. Now go to your ICM folder where you saved your CSV files. Click on the CSV file that we produced in InfoWorks ICM and open that in InfoWorks CS. The process will loop round, giving us the opportunity to pick up other files. You may recall we had the ability to export the data to independent files if we wanted to. But we don't need to. We've done everything in one file. We'll get a list of uh, any messages, and in particular, it will report on any table names that it doesn't recognise. The tables are still present in the CSV file, even if they don't contain any data. So, for instance, InfoWorks ICM knows all about bridges, and so there's obviously tables containing bridge data. InfoWorks ICM has the ability to do infiltration on the 2D surface and water quality on the 2D surface, but we don't have any of that data available to us in CS, and the data wasn't actually present in ICM either, so those tables were present, but blank. What it has done is to read in the data that we have got for our pipes and our uh, links and our nodes and our subcatchments and everything else. And sure enough, once that data is done, we can click here and we can see very clearly that we do have all our pipes, all our uh, manholes, and indeed our 2D zone. Although, of course, it doesn't have any of the triangles, we would need to remesh it in InfoWorks CS. We can also make sure that uh, all the subcatchment data has come across as well. And if we click on the subcatchments, perhaps give it a colour, perhaps a, a green colour like we had in, uh, in ICM to make it look very similar, we can switch those on. And you can see we now have our subcatchments. And the picture now looks absolutely identical to the one that we had in InfoWorks ICM. If we were to validate the model to prove that everything is OK, we can do that. We would expect to see some error messages relating to the 2D zone, because as we can see there are manholes in the 2D zone, but as yet the 2D zone has not been meshed, and the software is reporting that, and we can see that in the uh, messages at the bottom of the screen, telling us that we need to now remesh that zone. But the actual data for the 2D zone has come across. We can see that we have all the triangle sizes and all the conditions at the uh, boundary all defined. All that we would need to do at this point is simply to remesh, and then everything would be ready to go. So, that's just a very quick tutorial on uh, exporting data from InfoWorks ICM 
and then re-importing it back into InfoWorks CS and everything will be fine providing the data you had in InfoWorks ICM related purely to a sewer model that you would have typically done in the old days using InfoWorks CS.